Hiding on a hilltop in a small forest is a Parthenon-style monument surrounded by a well-manicured lawn and a pool of mountain fresh drinking water. No, we're not in ancient Greece. This is actually the Bay Area. John Bartel here making a little pit stop at the Pulgas Water Temple. Whether you're behind the lavender garden or in front of the pillars, it's hard to take a bad picture here. The Pulgas Water Temple is just a few miles from Redwood City in San Mateo County, but this backdrop wasn't built for social media influencers. It was a temple to celebrate the water coming down from the Sierra. Steve Ritchie is the head of San Francisco's Water District, and the water flowing out of the Pulgas Water Temple is drinking water headed to Bay Area homes and businesses. We serve about 2.7 million people here in the Bay Area. The Greco-Roman style water temple was built in 1938 as an ornate marker for the end of a water system. A water system that transports water from Yosemite National Park all the way to the Bay Area. That's by gravity all the way. There is not a pump in the system to, to pump it up. Mmm, tastes like Yosemite. After the 1906 earthquake that hit San Francisco, many homes burnt to the ground because there was a lack of water. This prompted city leaders to find a more reliable source. That source came from the Tuolumne River in Yosemite's Hetch Hetchy Valley. But first, the O'Shaughnessy Dam needed to be built to store water. And it's named for Michael O'Shaughnessy, who is the, he was the brains and the engineering of this whole thing. Michael O'Shaughnessy was a brilliant civil engineer who spent the last 20 years of his life building what became the Hetch Hetchy water system, a design that took water more than 160 miles over hills, trenched through the San Joaquin Valley, and piped under the bay. And so the delivery of water came here in October of 1934. He died two weeks before it showed up here. People from all over came to see the first flows of water come out of the water temple. But if you look at these pictures from 1934, you'll notice that it's not the same temple as it is today. Well, the reservoir is about a quarter of a mile that way. They built a fake water temple just to celebrate the water getting here for the first time. The original water temple was not in a very accessible spot, so four years later, a new Pulgas water temple and a park was built here off Kenyatta Road in Redwood City. This is merely a decorative reflecting pool here. Today, San Francisco Water Power and Sewer is the third largest water provider in the state. And you can see all that water from the temple as it makes its way to homes and businesses. From the Pulgas Water Temple in Redwood City, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.